The swipe view is a container control that wraps around an item of content and provides context menu items that are revealed by a swipe gesture. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how to create Xamarin Forms Swipe View and explore its properties. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. Here I have two buttons inside a stack layout. Now let's add Swipe Gesture to button 1. To add Swipe Gesture to the button, we simply wrap it with Swipe View Element. But first, the element should be inside the layout element like stack layout, grid, or frame. Swipe view supports four different swipe directions. These are left items, right items, top items, bottom items. Here, I set the swipe direction to right items. This will display the item from right. Let's run the app first to see its behavior. So here, when we swipe the button, the swipe items appear. Swipe items have a few properties you can add, like text, background color, icon image source. It has also an event handler that triggers when an item is being tapped or invoked. Here, we did not yet implement the event. Let's just display an alert message when a swipe item is selected or invoke. Let's run the app again. Once the swipe has been executed the swipe items are hidden and the swipe view content is redisplayed. Swipe view is commonly used in a collection of data. So let's add a collection view and implement a swipe gesture to each item. Here is our collection view. Now to add swipe view for each element on the list. We need to wrap the content of the data template with swipe view. Collection view supports context menus for items of data through the swipe view, which reveals the context menu with a swipe gesture. Then add the swipe items. Let's just copy this. Then let's go to code behind set the item source of the collection view. Here, I just copy data from my previous video lesson. I also already created the data model for our collection. Now let's set its item source. Let's run the app again. Let's swipe. We can also add multiple swipe gestures as long as there is no repetition.
Let's run the app again. The text property's full value didn't display. It might be an error on part of the emulator. But it will display on an actual device. Now we can swipe to the left or right. The swipe items class has also a mode property, which indicates the effect of a swipe interaction. The mode has two enumeration members, the reveal, which indicates that a swipe reveals the swipe items. This is the default value. And second is execute, which executes the swipe items upon swipe. Let's add an event that will be immediately called upon swiping. Let's go to code behind and implement the event. Let's run the app again. In execute mode, the user swipes a swipe view to open a menu consisting of one or more swipe items, which are then automatically executed. Following the execution, the swipe items are closed and the swipe view content is redisplayed. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!